Hello guys, I'm your host Joe and today we are presenting you on also showing you on how to save or back up your settings forever using the OBS which is also known as Open Broadcaster Software. First, we take a look at the main preference settings and I'm gonna just drag the windows of the operating, you know, of the open broadcaster software down here. And you can see that these are my settings that I use mostly when live streaming on Twitch or Hitbox, for example. And you can see all these settings have been applied, so I cannot switch. I'm also using Dix to record now, so I cannot switch between those scenes. But you can clearly see, you know of how my settings you know have been made alone and this actually took me more like more than two hours to actually organize and make all those scenes together and organize the you know the OBS and also the preference settings and whatnot. I'm going to drag these back up again here and I'm going to show you where you can save these settings can open this folder here which is also a shortcut of the path which I'm going to do now to demonstrate go to C drive which is on the computer so to begin with you click computer or you can press start key computer and it just brings you here you select the C drive then you select users then you select your PC's name or any operating system's name that you have provided. It's not going to be Joe, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different depending on which name you have been registered to the Windows to use the operating system. Click Joe right now and you can see this folder and this folder will not be shown without clicking the organize here this is a hidden folder where you can store all your apps or programs data all together and the settings and the preference you click on organize after you click on organize you go to folder and search options and then you click view to on the view tab that's the view tab actually <laughs> and now you can see here something here is called hidden files and folders on default it's set to don't show hidden folders files folders or drives and you have to click show hidden files folders and drives the second one click hit apply hit OK it should pop up right here on the left on the first you know first of the list then double click it then double click roaming which is the left double click on the mouse then you look for something like OBS now on this system I do not have that much of the programs you know installed so in case if you have so many programs that has these full you know these folders separate with it you're going to have to search OBS to find the specific program and to be faster to access to it then you left double click and you can see here these all my logs crash dumps plugin data profiles everything every literally every settings that I did it's right here to right click and open this with notepad or with a third party no notepad plus plus and you can see these all are my settings that I have used to make this OBS designs or overlays and all of these preferences so, what you need to do now is to back up all these settings 
I'll show you now after I minimize this and actually close this window or just minimize it for example because I already have it on shortcut so it would be faster to access it we're going to delete the folder roaming folder because I already have it saved on the D drive which is computer Western Digital HDD OBS tools folder which I have personally made settings backup OBS and I have named all these three paths for the folders and this is all my personal preference settings that I have made what you need to do now delete the folder which is located on the C drive not the D drive which is right here because normally open broadcast software always installs on the C drive as for my experience I have not yet on um, you know installed it in the D drive which is I think is quite impossible it's always have been installed on the C drive so what it does is save all the files on the C drive and all your settings and preferences on the app data what we need to do now is delete the folder but I cannot delete the folder now because my Windows is already running OBS so I need to actually close OBS and get back to you soon so we're back and all we did is copy this folder by pressing Control C to copy or basically just right click copy and go to C drive users whatever your name is registered on this folder which is the main operating systems um, registered username you click it again and you go on the app data which we have already shown on how to actually make the app data appear and not, no longer hidden and we double left click and go to roaming double left click and we go to OBS but we cannot we won't gonna double left click this one we just basically need to press control and V to paste the folder the full folder itself but I already that did that so I don't need to do that again so I just need to close this or basically just right click paste right and once you get your settings once you paste this your settings will be saved and all your settings will be back you don't need to actually you know you don't need to actually reinstall uh, I mean it's nothing you know there's no installation in this process but you get all your settings your you know overlays and all these nice you know fancy things that you can do for your live stream and yeah and that's about it it's pretty much easy and it's not that hard to do and I hope you guys uh, find this video helpful this is like my first it's not my first actually it's my second in-depth um, tutorial that I made for this kind of useful thing but it will save you a lot of time I mean a lot a lot of time doing all these settings and scenes and sources by your own self this saves you a lot of time and in the next video in the future we might be covering on how to actually save your third-party plugins such as um, CLR browser or video source or any third-party plugin that works in the open broadcaster software and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please like it or if you didn't just dislike it and I hope you guys have a nice day and yeah this is your host Joe I'm glad you watched this tutorial and uh, I'm happy to help you and uh, take care be safe and also make sure you can subscribe to our channel to get more updates and more in-depth tutorials like this goodbye